You may have heard of the Genius Sponge or seen her on um, before. I've only got a, a handful of these things to go around and they are truly amazing. This could be the last sponge and should be the last set of sponges that you ever will buy because these things are truly amazing. In addition to doing great cleanup, they're gonna actually help limit uh, that mold and bacteria growth within the sponge going down the road. And you know, that's why your sponge smells funny. That's why it looks disgusting. And basically all you're doing with those old fashioned sponges is taking the germs and bacteria and you're taking them and you're popping them all around the house every time you use that. Debbie Meyer's here. The sponges are here. Did you see the price? I really They were $24.95. Yeah. We yep. dropped the price to $17.95. So this is sort of clear out inventory. You get to take advantage of that price. There's 450 sets to go around. Why do we want these? You want these because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take you back here for one second. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is something that we all recognize. These things are at our sink, right? These horrible crispy critters. Do you know, and uh, everybody tells you, the dirtiest place in your house is not your bathroom. It is, number one, your kitchen sink. Number two, your kitchen sponge. We don't want this. You don't want this anywhere near your family. Get rid of that. What you want is my genie sponge next to your sink in your bathroom, wherever you do cleanup. Now, there's a little piece of animation. Now, you know me. I'm about the science. This is the scientific new sponge. I'm going to show you this animation. Look right there. That's the sponge that you currently have. That is an animation done by independent laboratory that says that's what's growing in an ordinary kitchen sponge. Now my sponges, on the other hand, will not permit the growth of those things on the sponge. Now you see these little things disappearing? That is the bacteria and germs not living. They cannot be supported by this sponge. For the life of the sponge, the sponge will not permit that growth. And that includes, and I've got the list here so I tell you these things. These are the important ones. Staph, MRSA, E. coli, Salmonella, black mold, and others cannot live in or on the surface of this sponge for the life of the sponge, and you do nothing. People say, oh, throw your sponge in the dish, in the yeah. Uh, microwave. Yeah, does that work? I'm sorry, I'm not putting that germy thing in my microwave. Hey, you know I put food in I there. I did that once and it stunk up the microwave. It, yes. <laughs> it really did, I was like, oh. Well, now here's another comparison for you. My sponges, they last longer. Every one of my sponges, now here's a set of 12, right? You're getting 12 in this mm -hmm. kit. Every one lasts the equivalent of 15. 15 cellulose sponges. Now, you want to do the math? You want to let me do the math? I'll do the math. That is 180 sponges. That is the equivalent to 12 of mine. You don't have to buy 180 sponges. How's that? You are only going to buy 12. They are going to remain softer. They take up less. They actually use less detergent because when you mm -hmm. squeeze them, they suds up better. Look at this. There, this is such a it, waste of not money. Just, let me tell you something. Not just in the kitchen. What? Use these in the bathroom. Absolutely. Use these when you clean your car. you got to remember that you, just like, you, you know the whole thing with how people, like one person gets sick and then that person gets uh, sick and then yeah. that person, you know how things, it's like a chain reaction. What these allow you to do is break that chain because they're not allowing you to take the germs and the, and the mold and bring right. it from one spot to another spot. So they break up that chain. And, and when you're wiping off surfaces, yeah. you're picking you know, it up. Picking you're, up germs. You're picking up things yeah. and then they're going inside your old sponge. You know those nooks and crannies? Wow, what a, what a life. Yeah. <laughs> You've got a Petri dish next to your, your mm -hmm. kitchen sink that way. So when you, do, when you use my sponge, the sponge is not permitting those things to grow. Now my name is on the front, and genius sponges, that's gonna wear off, don't worry about that. It has nothing to do with the effectiveness of the sponge. For the life of the sponge, until you shred it, it is going to work for you. Just like my green bags and my green boxes, I want them to work for you as long as you own it. So have a look. When you when you wipe down that, that cutting board after you've done something, and then maybe you're gonna wash the kids' mm -hmm. uh, little toys, you're gonna wash some utensils, my green box, you're gonna wash your silver, what am I doing? I've just taken all that, and now I'm going to clean up the baby's yeah. high chair. Mm -hmm. So what did I just put there? Okay, I don't want to spread a Petri dish onto this uh, surface, or any surface, or my dishes. When you wash out the sponge every single, you finish your dishes at night, you rinse out your sponge, put it next to the sink. Tomorrow morning when it's dry, it's like a brand new sponge every yeah. time you use it. Because you're not going to have to, you don't bleach it, you don't have to put no. it in the microwave, you don't have to put it in the dishwasher, just let it dry. Hey, and if you don't, and, and here's here's something. If you think, well, you know, maybe that works, maybe uh, maybe it doesn't. I'll tell you what. Independent lab testing tell you what, will tell you it works. Where's that dirty sponge you had? In here, the here, sink. Here's what you're gonna do. Should be in the garbage. Yeah, watch this. So here's what you do. You take take 
Ugh. your old sponge. I don't even like touching. I Take your old sponge you. and then use this sponge, right? Use each one for a week. And then here's what I'd like you to do. Go up to this one, take a big <laughs> whiff of that one, and then take a big whiff and of this one. Yeah. And wait till you see oh. the difference. The, the, what you're smelling is germs and mold yes. and bacteria and, and nasty As they food, multiply food, particles. food particles. Yes. And you can see with all the bigger holes in here, that's where that but stuff's you know going to hide that? out. This becomes a crisper, crispy critter. That's what I call it. Disgusting. These, my sponges, will never yeah. harden. They will always oh. be soft. They will not harm surfaces because they're incredibly soft. And remember, this is for the life of the sponge. Now, it, if we can go back and look at that animation again, I want to, because that's the easiest way for me to explain to you. Yeah. The science. There's your old sponge, your current sponge, and that's what's growing in it. Now, independent lab testing, the, the independent lab that did the testing on my sponges and said that will not support what you're seeing there on my sponge, they made this animation. They're showing now my sponge, and when you see these little poof, 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 those are actually the bacteria and germs dying. They cannot live in or on my sponge for the life of my sponge. My sponge will also hold 22 times its own weight in liquid when you are mopping something up. You'll get that nice squeak sound yeah. because mm -hmm. it's absorbing 22 times its own weight and it absorbs 40% more liquid than this will. So, ordinary sponge. My sponge. Hands down. And you're getting... Twelve of my well, sponges? Yep, you get a dozen. Instead of buying a hundred and eighty... So so you sponge. buy these, I mean, and you are you are good for the year all you're over good. the house, at least. You could even give some away. So here, here's Cleaning the thing. Cleaning the baby's room, They're too? half gone, okay? I've got 200 left. So if you want yes. them at this price, we took $7 off the price, clearing out the end of the inventory. Well, these are ideal all throughout the holiday season, because that's what, when you wind up doing a lot of cleanup. That's one of the reasons I really wanted to have them on during the holiday season. Mm -hmm. We're doing more cleaning. You're getting ready for more. You have more people around. More things are happening. I don't want to be running to the grocery store and saying, oh, you know what? That ugly sponge is next to my sink. I need to buy sponges. Then you go out and you buy six of these, and it's really just a waste of money because it's ordinary. It does nothing for you. My sponges physically work to keep your home and family yes. healthier because it will not permit staph, MRSA, E. coli, salmonella, black mold. And I'll tell you something. In your kitchen sink, if you are rinsing off any kind of meat, you are exposing yourself to salmonella and E. coli right there. You don't want it growing on your sponge. Every time you pick up your sponge, do you really want that in your hand? I don't no. think so. All right, listen, we will let you know when it sells out.